Well, hello my friends. Today I'm in Dunkirk, New York along beautiful Lake Erie and I'm searching for some beach glass. Now you might be asking what in the world is beach glass? Well, beach glass is formed as a result of discarded glass jars and bottles that have been thrown away in the water or left on the shore and swept out to sea or in the Great Lakes which is where I am, Lake Erie, and uh, over time it's tossed and tumbled by stones and, and the pounding waves, and uh, it usually takes many, many years, 30 to 50 years, and uh, the glass winds up having smooth edges and kind of a frosty exterior, and a lot of people search for this glass. Uh, they make jewelry out of it and, and just collect it because it's, it's, it's pretty to look at. You can see in this picture here where the uh, edges of the glass are all smooth and kind of rounded off and it's got that frosty look to it. Now when you're searching for this glass you want to go where the waves are. It's that wave action pounding that glass on these uh, rocks that uh, produces this uh, beach glass. And right here's a piece of it, a nice white piece of glass. Now there's not as much of this beach glass as there used to be because uh, people are more aware of, of not throwing their trash around and so on. And so you really have to look closely as you're walking down the beach. And I usually have my, my tall boots on as I go along. And uh, sometimes it helps if you bring a rake along and you can kind of rake the sand and, and look for it that way. I have found that these seagulls are absolutely no help at all in searching for beach glass. Now, I didn't realize just how popular this beach glass uh, hunting is. and My girlfriend was telling me about it and I found out that uh, there's a beach glass festival that's held every other year in Erie, Pennsylvania and people come from all over the country to that festival to uh, buy this beach glass and also arts and crafts made out of it. So that that would be a pretty enjoyable festival to go to, I think. Now another thing I like to do while walking along the beach is to search for driftwood. And some of this driftwood can be really beautiful and it's used in all kinds of projects for arts and crafts. You never know what you're liable to find here on the beach. Here's a little something that somebody made and left for somebody like me to uh, discover as I walk along the beach. So my friends, there's all kinds of ways to enjoy the great outdoors. And uh, the main thing is just to get out there. In this early spring day, kind of windy and cool, but most enjoyable out here along the beaches of Lake Erie in Dunkirk, New York. So take a lesson from this seagull. Get out there and take a walk, everybody. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time. Stay safe and stay healthy.